Welcome to Gematria Goodies. Let's go to Genesis, the 14th chapter. Here a miracle occurs that's kind of understated in the book of Genesis. Abram, Abram, goes to rescue his relative Lot, his nephew Lot, and he's rescuing him from a coalition of kings that has conquered or, or at least come through and been victorious in the, in the land of Canaan and then gone north with captives and booty. And yet he has a small force, and with that small force, he wins. So it's, it's a miracle. It's kind of understated here, but it would seem to me to be a miraculous victory of a small force against a probably a much larger force. Uh, let's go to verse 14 of Genesis 14. Now, when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Hobah, which is north of Damascus. So they chased them all the way north into what is today Syria. So he brought back all the goods and also brought back his brother Lot, meaning his relative uh, Lot, and his goods, as well as the women and the people. Liberation. And he did it with a force of 313 men who were his trained servants. Now, of his trained servants, who was the head of his trained servants? Who was the one trained servant who was the coordinator? These 313 men were evidently those who were of military capacity, those who were of the right age and physical ability to, to be used as soldiers. So these were the, those in Abraham's retinue of servants who were capable of military service, and there were 318 of them. And who was the coordinator of this force, uh, of, these stu of these servants? Let's go to Genesis 15. And in Genesis 15, I'm beginning in the beginning of the chapter. After these things, the word of the eternal came to Abram in a, vo in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. And Abram said, Lord eternal, what will you give me, seeing I go childless? And the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Well, you know that God promised him a son. Uh, but in, the, in this case, we see that until this point, the, the leading man in his life was not any, any son of his, but the chief of the servants, the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Well, it's interesting. Eliezer was the one who would have been the chief over these 318 servants of Abraham. Let's look at Eliezer. Eliezer. God is a help. It could be translated. Or my God is a help. Eliezer. Aleph is 1, Lamed is 30, Yud is 10, Ayin is 70, Zion is 7, Resh is 200. Take a look at Eliezer's name, and it adds up to 318. Isn't that interesting? The, the Abraham had a collection of servants capable of doing military service, 318 of them. And his chief servant was Eliezer, whose name numerically equals 318. I look at that as a gematria goodie.